This is Frank Hefner with Technique Peak. Next, we're going to do a cervical and upper thoracic differentiation. So if patients come in with complaints of neck pain, we want to be able to determine is it coming from the upper cervical region, the lower cervical region, or the upper thoracic region, because all are involved with rotation. So first, we're going to ask Rob, Rob, can you bring your chin towards your chest? And we're just going to make sure he's in the right position. And he's going to maintain that plane of motion. And we have Rob, can you turn your head towards the right and turn your head towards the left? In this position, the lower cervical and upper thoracic are locked out, and the motion is really isolated to the upper cervical. If Rob has any uh, reports of pain in this position or restricted motion, that would implicate the upper cervical spine. Next, we're going to ask Rob to cross his arms and we're going to have him rotate his upper body to the right. And now, Rob, can you please turn your head to the left and relax. So now by rotating Rob's upper body towards the right, we are locking out the upper thoracic. Now with Rob turning his head to the left, if that relieves his pain with rotation, that would implicate the upper thoracic spine as the problem area. If Rob, if locking out the upper thoracic spine with this rotation and Rob turns his head to the left and he still has pain, it, the lower cervical are the only segments where motion is coming from, so that would then implicate the lower cervical spine as the problem area. And the same can be done on the other side to, for a problem turning to the right. So this is how we differentiate upper cervical, lower cervical, and upper thoracic in a, in a patient that has pain with rotation. This is Frank with Technique Peak.